Welcome to Visuals Kingdom. I'm your host, Nick Metzger, and today I'm going to show you how to create a mesh warp transition as seen in the famous Portugal Hyperlapse video by Kirill Nayetsmakov. You will find the link to the full video in the description down below. Actually, it's a simple technique, but depending on the shots, it requires a whole lot of time to perfect it. It usually works best if you have two shots with a similar subject in a similar size. And it also helps if the colors of the two shots match. But now, let's start by importing your clips into a new composition. Make sure that the first clip is on the bottom layer and the shot you're transitioning to is on the top layer. As soon as you threw them in, you want to define the endpoint for the transition. Next, you need to put the top layer blending mode to difference. This allows you to match your subject's pixel perfect. To best match your two subjects, go to the in point and animate the scale, position and rotation over the next 12 frames. The most simple way to do so is to set a keyframe on the first frame, one on the 12th frame and one on the 6th frame. Then match the shots on all of them. Now you need to go to the Effects and Presets tab and add Mesh Warp to both of your layers. Basically, Mesh Warp gives you a grid which you can animate to morph your shot into a new form. And this new form should be your second shot. Now, you need to adjust your rows and columns. It's important to know that the higher the number, the more precise your mesh warp will be. But remember, that also reflects in the time you have to put in. Next, set the distortion mesh keyframe at the beginning and the end of your transform period on both layers. At the first distortion mesh keyframe of your second clip, you want to move the points of your grid to best match your first clip. Also, same here, the more time you put in, the better the results. When you're happy with the outcome, go to the last keyframe of your first clip and animate the grid in the same way to match your second clip. As soon as you're done, simply animate the opacity from 0 to 100% on your second clip. The opacity keyframes don't have to match the others though. That means you can move them closer to the middle so when you play back, you recognize the mesh warp before the transition happens. And that's already it! You now have a perfect mesh warp transition! Now, one more important thing. Follow us on Instagram at Visuals Kingdom and tag us if you create something with our LUTs and presets for a chance to be featured. And as a very last thing, please subscribe to our channel and help us help more people. That would mean the world to me and I need to laugh because Josh had to... Yeah. Mm.